Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to talk about irregular verbs in the simple past tense. English has lots and lots of irregular verbs. First, what is an irregular verb? English has regular and irregular verbs. The regular verbs follow a pattern which is simple to learn. When you talk about a regular verb in the simple past tense, you just add ed to the end of the verb. For example, I walk, I walked. I cook, I cooked. I play, I played. These are all regular verbs and it's very easy to change those into their past form. Irregular verbs change differently and they don't all follow the same pattern. I would love to tell you that there is a secret way to remember all the irregular verbs. I'm sorry, there isn't. You just need to practice each one. So I'm going to give you some of the more common irregular verbs so that you can practice and hopefully it will help you to remember them. The first verb we're going to talk about is to wake up. To wake up means now I am asleep I wake up. So you wake up every morning. The past form of to wake is woke. I wake up, I woke up. I wake up every morning, I woke up yesterday morning. I woke up at six o'clock this morning. Practice making a sentence using woke up. What time did you wake up this morning? Another word which is similar to woke up is awoke. I awoke to the sound of birds singing. Awoke means the same as woke up, but it isn't used in conversation very often. It sounds a little bit old fashioned. You might read it in a book. The word awoke is sometimes used in literature just because it sounds a little bit nicer and less casual than woke up. Of course, to wake up, we must first sleep. Sleep is also an irregular verb. I sleep becomes I slept. I sleep in my bedroom. I slept in a hotel room on holiday. I slept is in the past. So the simple past form of sleep is slept. Another example, you can say, I slept for eight hours last night. I slept for eight hours last night. You try making a sentence using slept. Where did you sleep last night? Another very common irregular verb is to lose something. If I can't find my keys, I have lost them. So I lose my keys. I lost my keys. We can also use the word lost to describe where things are. If my husband says to me, where are your keys? I can say, I don't know. They are lost. The keys are lost. Another example, 
I'm so worried about my dog. My dog is lost. In these examples, the word lost is the same in the past and the present. So if you are describing where something is, that doesn't change. My dog is lost in the present or my dog was lost in the past. In that case, it is the is and was that changes, not the word lost. But to lose something becomes I lost it. When you lose something, hopefully you will find it. Find is also an irregular verb. I find my keys. I find my keys. In the past, that is, I found my keys. For example, yesterday I lost my keys, but I found them. Last week I lost my dog, but I found him. Practice making sentences using lost and found. What did you lose? Did you find it? Before we get to the last word, I just want to remind you that I have a Kofi page where I'm currently posting more videos than I can on YouTube. If you'd like to join my Kofi membership, you will get an extra two videos per month. And that's a promise. I will definitely make two videos per month for Kofi, even if I don't have time to make one for YouTube. Our final irregular verb for today is drink. I drink my coffee. I drank my coffee. Drink becomes drank. I drink I drank. Drank is the simple past form of drink. Practice using the word drank and tell me what did you drink today? I hope that was helpful. If you have any suggestions for videos or things you would like me to explain, please leave a comment below and I'll see you soon. Bye!